how to use the easy SEO extension. So first of all, you'd click the icon and you'd be greeted by the overview tab. And currently there are a total of five tabs. So as you can see, there's a title tag in the description. And this just means the meta title and this means the meta description and you can edit them. So as you can see here, it says too long because the search Google search doesn't support that many characters. So you can take that out and this won't update your actual meta description or meta title, but it will give you a preview of what that looks like. Next up is the canonical. So if you want your page to rank, it should have a self-referencing canonical. Along with, this will show you the URL of what your page looks like. So you can compare and you'll see why this is, this is important in just a second. You'll get a bunch of indexability checks, including the status code, along with if it's actually indexable. You'll be able to see the page, like, page size along with the word count. And at the bottom here, you'll see a summary of your headings, links, and images. And as you can see here, there's a hidden check and it says illogical heading. And these hidden checks will only appear if your web page doesn't pass a particular check. So another example, if we go to the homepage here, if we look at the hidden check, it says missing H1. And if we go into the next tab, the subheadings, it tells you missing H1. There isn't an H1 in here. And if we go here, it says a logical heading, which means there are other subheadings above the H1. The H1 should be the one above all the other headings. And the great thing about this is it gives you a bird's eye view of your page. You can, you can see exactly what's happening along with copying it to clipboard. And you can also highlight your subheadings. And as you can see here, there's H6 above the H1. So it's pretty straightforward and simple. So as you can see here, there are multiple H1s. And it'll tell you in the hidden feature check right here, multiple H1s along with the trailing slash. And what that means is, is there are two separate versions of a website. So you can see trailing slash here at the end and if you take that out, it loads without the trailing slash. Ideally, there'd be a 301 redirect to one of these versions. Now, if there's a canonical, as you can see here, then it's okay. You don't need to worry about this. Next up is the image tab. So you can see the total number of images, the images without the alt text, and it gives you the URLs of the images without alt text. It'll give you a list of images with large image files. Currently this passes, so if it's over 100 kilobytes, then it'll show the URLs here and images without a modern format. So these are images that aren't in WebP, which Google recommends. So next up, if we take a look at the links tab and you can see there's four broken links on the page and it'll give you a total number of links, the unique links, which are non-duplicate links, the internal links, the external links, and again, the broken links. And it's all neatly organized within a drop-down tab. So it gives you the anchor text along with the URL. You can also export all the links, just the internal, just the external, or just the broken links. So very simple and straightforward. You can also highlight the nofollow links schema so you can see the schema on your page so as you can see there's organization schema here uh, they should have some writing at the top which says organization but we'll fix that um, but yeah you can see the schema and if there is no schema it'll say there is no schema and that's pretty much it that's how you use the easy seo extension there'll be more features coming out such as a keyword research tool um, along with a semantically related keywords tool as well.